I don't know. I thought I thought Mary Jane and Spider-Man were like an item. Maybe I'm wrong. Either way, good stuff by Don Strange. I'm not going to doubt him. He uh, clearly knows more about nerddom than I do. I don't know what's up with Heather. She, uh, I guess she can't make it to the phone, can't get off from her job. That's kind of sad. <sighs> oh, well. Well, you know, I, I kind of miss having her around. She was like a staple on the River's Edge Radio Network and on my show. She's been there from the beginning, so she still does her weather updates when she can. We play them here, and uh, we're going to start putting them in the stream, I think, uh, tweaking them up a little bit for 24-hour streaming. But uh, talk about tweaking Representative Terzai, Terzai, who is the Speaker of the Republican House here in Harrisburg, has completely changed his opinion on gambling. Uh, he was opposed to it, and now he's in favor of it. At least he's in favor of allowing gambling machines at bars and places like that. And uh, it could possibly bring in a ton of revenue uh, to the city, or to the commonwealth then again so was the regular gambling uh, at the casinos that was going to bring in some revenue as well they're looking at bringing in ooh, let's see has here a few thousand tables i just had this uh this note written down and i just missed it okay twenty one thousand gambling machines they're looking to put in public venues and he's in favor of this he was against it before i wonder if any kind of lobbyists had anything to do with that. I'm kind of sick of that crap, you know? I, I mean, I, I guess it's the way things are done, but I don't know. I would just like to see... I, I would like to have seen the casinos really bring in real revenue into the Commonwealth. I know the Lady Luck Casino at Nemecolon, according to my, uh, my friend Pat Clunan out of the Herald Standard, he's been on this show uh, back when he worked for the Daily News, the now defunct Daily News. He said that that casino is not doing too well. And I look at the ri the rivers, and it could be a lot better than it is. It could be an attraction. It could bring in people from outside of the Pittsburgh area. But instead, it's just a bland casino. There's no reason to go there unless you live here and you want to spend money. So the money's already here. You're not bringing in any new money. You're just kind of circulating the money from Pittsburgh to Pittsburgh, even if it stays here, you know, that all gets distributed from Harrisburg. Sure, it creates jobs, but the money goes back to help older Pennsylvanians. If you've ever, be if you've ever been to the Rivers Casino, you will see that it is all older Pennsylvanians, almost all older Pennsylvanians. So the older Pennsylvanians are putting the money in the older P Pennsylvanians are getting the money out. It's just, as I said, circular. Does not bring in new revenue. Imagine if we had river boat gambling. Gambling along the river. Originally, that was the uh, the purpose of the Gateway Clipper fleet was to bring in river boat gambling. Imagine if we had river boat gambling, and people could come from all different states. They would come to Pittsburgh, bring their money into Pittsburgh. They would rent a hotel room. They would go eat at a local establishment. New money being brought into the Commonwealth. Not a circulation of cash, but new wealth, new money coming here to be spent in Pennsylvania. I think that would be fantastic. That's what we need. We need new money, new revenue. We need to handle this pension program. There's so many problems in this commonwealth that could be handled if we could bring in some new revenue through gambling, but instead it's just shuffled around and we don't really get anywhere. Uh, so I'm not sure. I guess Heather's not going to be able to call in today, and I'm tired. I literally woke up and walked down to the studio, got us. I, I can't even like speak correctly. My words are slurring. I need a new job is basically what I'm saying, so if you know where to look, Please let me know. What is today? Monday. Today is Monday. Catch us Wednesday. I'll be back here in this chair 
maybe in one of those other chairs if we get Tyler back in studio. But I will be here Wednesday with you 10 to 11, as always. We'll have Amanda Narcisi in as well, telling you what to do this coming weekend here in the Berg. Until then, I am the most interesting man in the Berg, Brian Crawford. You're listening to the River's Edge Radio Network. Be sure to listen to Bold Night South, 7 a.m. here at riversedgepgh.com. Hi, I'm Tom, and I know money. And I'm Matt, and I know funny. Catch us Thursday mornings at 7 a.m. Real financial information for the regular guy. Right here at riversedgepgh.com. Your voice for local music.